Welcome to Stephen Leacock, the home of innovations for skills and technologies for the Northeast region of the Toronto District School Board. Our school offers many wonderful opportunities and amenities for upcoming or transferring high school students, including STEAM-related clubs and classes. Firstly, what is STEAM? Here, we have our guidance counselor, Ms. Bast, and our principal, Mr. Zupo, here to answer that one question. So Stephen Leacock is uh, starting a new program called Ignite, which is a STEAM program that allows students to really get deep into skills and knowledge related to science, technology, arts, and math. This program will allow students to develop digital learning and global competencies, which will provide them with transferable skills and prepare them for the world of work in the 21st century. How does our school incorporate STEAM programs and classes? STEAM programs and classes. Uh, at Leacock, we do incorporate STEAM. So once again, STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math. All those curricular areas looking at extending past the curriculum. So in science, doing things like amazing labs, fun labs, uh, technology engineering through Studio 6, um, amazing state-of-the-art opportunities, including coding. Uh, the arts, we're looking at having a lot of fun with students in the integrated arts and uh, looking at extending that to uh, uh, community partners and uh, the industry sector as well. Uh, and then in, at math, looking at uh, real life examples. Our school offers many courses related to each of these subjects, courses that greatly develop our skills related to the field we aspire to be a part of. Throughout this video, we will be talking to many teachers who are a part of these programs. To start, we'll be interviewing Ms. Creary. She's the head of our technological department and she's in charge of all the graphic design and film classes. What courses do you teach at Stephen Leacock? Here at Stephen Leacock, I teach um, some technological education courses. I teach communications technology, which involves a little bit of audio production, video production, animation, film, and uh, web design as well. What life skills will students learn in your classes? As far as life skills, um, students will learn a lot of really, really good life skills in my classes. They learn how to um, do proper time management techniques, um, learning to meet deadlines, um, learning how to communicate when they're working as part of a group, and the actual technical skills that are needed in this day and age. Now, let's interview a student from her class. So the tech courses that I'm taking this semester are uh, TV media, so basically film class, where we learn how to um, edit footage, we learn different types of like cinematography styles, different shot types, different genres, and we learn how to make our own like video projects. So what I've learned in this course, uh, the, the biggest thing I've learned is how to work with other people because in this course you need to collaborate with your classmates a lot and a lot of the projects that we get are uh, team projects. So I've learned how to communicate and collaborate with my peers. I've also learned how to be more creative and like more confident. So this, uh, this course allows you to take more uh, leadership roles so, for example, right now we're doing LTV, and every week uh, the episode needs a showrunner, which is basically the director. So when you are in the director role, you get to like be more vocal and be more confident, which is really good to like improve your self-esteem. Next, we'll visit Mr. Bosney. He teaches computer software engineering and software development. Thank you for joining us today, Mr. Bosney. Our first question of the day is, what classes do you teach, and what do students learn in each subject? This semester I teach computer science, grades 10, 11, and 12, and I also teach computer engineering, grade 11 and 12. So in my subjects in computer science, we are learning Python this semester. Last time it was Java, this time it's Python. But we also learn about coding in general. So we learn about variables, about types of variables, about how to make decisions in coding, so if statements and how to do loops, for loops and while loops. In computer engineering, we learn about electronics, about computer hardware. We learn about different operating systems. This semester, it will be Linux and Windows. We learn how to troubleshoot and maintain computers, desktops and laptops. We learn about microcontrollers. We have Arduino and Microbit. And we also learn a little bit of networking, wire networking and wireless networking. How can students benefit from joining the STEAM program? 
When students join the STEAM program in our school, they get access to all the fun activities that we're doing in our classes. Uh, they also go on fun trips with us and they can get certified in my classes. This time around it will be a certification in Python, JavaScript and C, and also networking and cybersecurity. Now let's talk about the science program. Our science courses entice our students' critical thinking skills. Our courses help students discover the path they want to take in life and leaves them with the opportunities and experiences needed. So throughout the science courses and department, our goal is that students are able to learn life skills such as planning, problem solving, as well as inquiry. So student interest in driving our learning process is very important. In science, students have an opportunity to participate in hands-on activities. And in particular, in a senior level course, in the gra grade 12 level, students would be able to participate in a joint partnership with U of D in a discovery program that will allow them to use state-of-the-art technology in laboratory spaces to investigate a topic in science. Our school has an amazing art course with an amazing teacher. If you'd like to see some work, check out our school's art Instagram. For this interview, we will be talking to Ms. Reynolds. Infusing technology into the visual arts classroom can help students develop creativity, critical thinking, and art skills, while also preparing them for success in a tech-rich world of work and artistic possibility. Creativity is an essential aspect of innovation. At Leacock, we engage in this type of exploration through digital portfolios, apps, and software that engage students in the creative process to animate, illustrate, and share their voices using a variety of ICT platforms. Stephen Leacock's Ignite program will develop seven important categories of transferable skills, critical thinking and problem solving, innovation, creativity, and entrepreneurship, self-directed learning, collaboration, communication, global citizenship and sustainability, and digital literacy. Now, for our last segment of this episode, the math department. The head of this department is Mr. Reed. So at Leacock, we offer all of the math courses that you would need to get your, your uh, diploma, which is great. Um, but I'm really excited to, uh, that this year we're uh, offering every single one of the four U-level math courses. Uh, so that includes advanced functions and calculus, which we normally offer, uh, but this year we're going to be offering data management. Uh, so that'll be in second semester, and it's one of my favorite math courses. Uh, a lot of the times programs for university or college will require a 4U level math course and the advanced functions in calculus is just a little bit too abstract, a little bit too mathematical for, for some students, whereas the data management really looks into math in real life. It looks at statistics, it looks at, you know, maybe interpreting surveys, math that you could actually use, say, when you're watching the news or watching TV and they, they throw statistics at you, you can then understand them a little bit better. In terms of support uh, that we have for, for uh, students at Leacock in, in STEAM courses, each uh, teacher in, in the math courses uh, offers support either at lunchtime or, or after school. Uh, and it's really just a matter of, of showing that initiative um, and reaching out to your teacher to ask for support. One thing I would really like to have happen in, in, in the near future uh, is get more of a kind of community um, support uh, study group type thing. I, I would like to call it homework hangout, uh, where we have older students, so students in say maybe grade 12 physics that'll come. Uh, and they can help out the grade 11 physics students or maybe the grade 9 and 10 math students. Uh, that's something I would like to have happen uh, in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Uh, and maybe we'll get some volunteer hours for those senior students that are available to, to help out for that. That concludes today's video. I hope this video was able to give you a brief introduction to our school's STEAM program. We hope to see you soon!